Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Now, there is going to be obviously a comeback from David Hay. Not the comeback in the traditional sense, but more of a exhibition style comeback. I mean, it is a pro fight that goes on both of their pro records, Joe Fournier and David Hay. But, I mean, it's not a real competitive boxing match. And I think we can fully expect David Hay to get the victory. I mean... I don't think that Joe Fournier is good enough to beat David Hay, even though David Hay is 40 years old. But then again, Joe Fournier is 38, so there's not much difference when it comes to that. The biggest difference comes when you look at their careers, what David Hay has been through, the tough fights, the tough training camps, the injuries as well. That does come into it. Joe Fournier is a light heavyweight, David Hay is a cruiserweight slash heavyweight. He's on the smaller side, so there won't be too much size difference between the two of them. And David Hay did come out and say he's about £10 lighter than he was for the Tony Bellew rematch, which I think does benefit him. Putting on all of that weight, I don't think that done him any favours in his comeback when he fought Mark DeMori, that other guy, the Cobra was he called? Jerjai or something like that. When he fought those guys and Tony Bellew twice, that extra weight definitely did not benefit him. So being lighter will definitely be better for David Hay. Now, Tony Bellew, a former opponent, has weighed in on what is going on. And he said that just because they are friends, just because it might seem like an exhibition kind of gimmick, David Hay is going to go in there and try and knock him out. He also said those punches are hard and they hurt every time they land. So... You cannot expect David Hay going in there and being the nice guy just because Joe Fournier is his friend. Now, Eddie Hearn also said that they're friends, so how are they going to have a real fight? But obviously, Tony Bellew is someone who has shared the ring with David Hay, so he knows a lot more about him than Eddie Hearn does. So he knows his intentions. He knows what he is like. He knows that this is going to be a real fight for however long it lasts. I mean... I say real fight, I think that David Hay will stop him in a couple of rounds. If he doesn't, then I will be extremely surprised, because this guy is 10-0 as a boxer. Never got anywhere near the level of David Hay, so I'm not expecting him to put up any real resistance to David Hay. He might give him a tough patch here and there, he might have some resistance, he might stay in there for longer than you can expect, but the power, the explosiveness of David Hay will just be too much. One thing about David Hay though, in his rematch with Tony Bellew, is his punches aren't as accurate, and they're a lot wider than they were before. That is down to his stance, that is also down to probably having shoulder surgery as well. Injuries here and there, they have definitely harboured the career of David Hay, and that will be factored in when he fights on September 11th, on the undercard of Oscar De La Hoya. So, that does come into it, but again, you have to look at levels. There is someone in front of him, like Tony Bellew, who can exploit those kind of weaknesses, the punches being wide, his stance not being as good as it once was, little things like that. At the top, the fine margins matter. At this level, the margins don't matter as much, because David Hay is that much better anyway than Joe Fournier. He's been to a different place, and that does bring with it an abundance of experience and the ability it takes to get there is something only someone like David Hay understands, Joe Fournier does not. So that will be the difference in this contest. If Joe Fournier was as good as Tony Bellew, then yes, he could exploit certain weaknesses that are there with David Hay that have come along over time, like Bellew was able to in both of their fights. But Joe Fournier is not a good enough boxer or fighter to be able to go after and exploit those kind of weaknesses that will still be there, but there is no way that he can capitalise on them. I think that David Hay will control him, he'll be too strong, too fast, too powerful, and as I said, I would expect it to be over in one round, two rounds, three rounds maybe. I don't even see it going the full eight, unless David Hay decides to let him carry on for those eight rounds, to just kind of have a little bit of a dance around with him, which I hope doesn't really happen because otherwise what's the point of doing it? They may as well have a proper fight. They are two pro fighters, I mean Joe Fournier came into it later and he never reached anywhere near the level that Hay has gotten to, but still, 
They are both pro fighters. Tenano is Joe Fournier, and David Hay is a former world champion in two different weight classes. So they can have a real fight, and unless David Hay decides to make it go long, I can see this one being over quite quickly. Anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this? Tony Bellew seems to believe this is going to be a real fight. Not necessarily the best, but he can expect David Hay to go in there and put on a show to look for a stoppage, even though this guy is his friend. Guys, anyway, drop your thoughts on this in the comments below. Also, leave a like and grab that subscribe button. Thanks, guys.